Hello, everybody. This is Trader Sebra here. You're welcome to week 42. Um, week 41 has been very interesting anyway. We had uh, a very quiet uh, week because of the consolidation that was going on in the market as had um, last week. So a few trade was taken, but uh, not too seriously. We hit, uh, we actually ended up break even last week. Um, Yes, so the first thing we want to look at today is what are we going to be trading this week 40, 42. Um, the first thing is we're not going to be looking at GU this week. We're not going to be looking at uh, Euro USD this week because uh, I will show you the reason why that is in a moment. We are on a consolidation on those pairs right now at a very uh, strong support area of the higher time frame. So let me quickly just show you what I mean. As you can see, this is the, on my left, is the daily time frame. You see, price has created a strong resistance at this level, major support. What we want to see is that if price can break this level, and then we have a new structure to create a lower low, and then continue to the downward, start downside. But if that is not given to us, and we are actually playing around this place, then we'll, there's no trade. So we need to see that price break this low <clears throat> for us to look for opportunity. As you can see what happened to us last week, the news was released and all we find is just consolidation. Consolidation. There was no uh, reasonable opportunity uh, to take uh, trades to, to where we were spending. But of, of course I sold on this particular level, I was I stood here, and that was the last entry. And the rest of the days of the week, there was no trade. So for that reason, um, I'm still not going to be focusing on that pair uh, this week, which is GU, although it's my favorite pair. So, but what do we do? We have to move on and look at other assets. There are many other assets in the market that we can trade. So I will not let. Um, whatever GE is doing right now to stop me from taking that trade. So let's look at uh, even Euro USD, the same behavior. It's the same behavior. As you can see, price is uh, is failing to, to break this area of the structure, as you can see. Failing to break this low on the left. So you can see my left side, which is the daily time frame. Price is failing to break that area right there. Okay, so you can see it. Price is failing to break that area and it consolidating around that area multiple times. Although there was some kind of move that happened on Euro USD, uh, which was again just like GU, not too much of a move. But for me, I'm not going to be trading this pair, except I find something reasonable that there is a break. Of course, we have a break of structure already to the downside on Euro USD, which we, if we can find a clean retracement, then we're going to be buying until the retracement is over. What I mean by that is, if we find a retracement from where price is now and start going up, then we should be looking for, on the higher time frame. this is the one of our time frame. we should be looking for break of structure to the upside. So if price could take out all these highs, okay? If price could take out the highs over here, then we should be looking for buys. But as long as prices stay within this range, which is just uh, within this range, then we will just have it kind of buy it from support self, maybe looking at the support and resistant area within that place. But we want price uh, to break above that low, this low before we trade to the lower side. We want price to break above this high before we can lose the buy. So Euro USD is a bit better compared to the rest uh GU. G is just uh, out of this out of this world right now. It's he's on his own world right now. So let's look at a few pairs that I want us to look at this week and we're going to be trading. Uh, first of all the one is New uh, New Zealand um New Zealand dollars. New the New Zealand dollars is already on the go as we can see is already on the go. But I'm I'm going to be very careful to sell this market. Yes, it's bearish. Let me show you what I mean. 
The market is bearish right now. We can see this is the one hour uh, daily time frame on my left. So the market is bearish. As you can see, this is strong break of structure to the side. The market just broke structure, broke this low, and then we have this. So if I uh, put my FIB at this level and drag it to the bottom, this is daily time frame. We can see that price is obviously retracing to the upside. So we anticipate a retracement. So for that reason, on the higher time frame, which is the, uh, I mean, on the lower time frame, which is the one hour time frame, we're going to be looking for buys. So we want we want to trade to you price get to 0 0.60, So that's the psychological level we're trading to. So you you will need to mark that in your in your trading in your account, all right, in your chart, whatever chart you're using, trading view, whatever it is, mark it. That's what I'm gonna do now. Put it there, put that line there, which is close to the FIB level, which is 561. So that's where we want to anticipate to trade. Or oh, we could target the 50%, but I believe price will break above that 50%. So for that reason, we are anticipating that price will come even take up that high, take off that high, and then target this imbalance that is here. That's what we're anticipating to get to. So um, <clears throat> this week, we should be expecting more buys to the upside. So this is a good setup on this pair right now. So watch me as I uh, show you the setup right here. So we can see a break of structure to the upside, break of structure so we can see the market is getting bullish. So we're going to continue to buy on this pair right now. But see, somebody will say, well, but it's selling. Uh, it is showing bearish momentum to, to the downside on the daily. Why are you buying it? Yes. We're buying the retracement this week because it's possible that the market wants to retrace. So because of that, we want to catch the retracement before. Um, we are not going to just leave the market on that. There's always opportunity to buy uh, a retracement. So this buy that we're doing is counter trading the trend anyway, which is going to be favorable on a lower time frame. So this is the trade I'm looking for. I'm expecting price to come to my area of interest. I'm going to belong in the pair. So first of all, depending on what work for you, if you want to use the 61, you want to use the 70, 71, it's up to you. I normally would use the 71, which is my original plan. Say, and I'm targeting one to two on this trade. So that's a simple setup. I'm waiting for this trade. But if you're using the 61, I will encourage you to extend it to minus 21 because minus 21 or minus, which is close to the other block, will be a very good opportunity for you to take your TP at that level because it might not, it might struggle for a while on that other block right there. So that's the first trade that I'm going to be taking uh, this week. I'm watching this trade. I'm going to, I'm setting my buy limit as soon as price gets to that level then the next trade i'm going to be looking at is the euro usd i'm sorry the euro chef the euro chef ch uh, chf now if i want to see although the market is very very much in consolidation i don't really like the way the market trade but sometimes it gives me nice trade some great crazy move in the market which i love but here's a problem on the daily, we can see that there is this pattern here that the market is giving us. So we can see that it's creating a higher, a higher high and a lower high at the top. So that means we have something of this nature as a pattern. So we need price to break out of this area that is giving us. We need price to break out of this area for us to trade. But if you look at it, it appears the price want to go up. So the best thing you want to do is, if you want, but it's a bearish market. So the best thing you want to do on this trade is to look at this strong imbalance that just happened. This massive imbalance that just happened. So if we put our, of course, there are liquidity here. First of all, we need to identify the liquidity level, which is strong liquidity at that level. So we know there's liquidity there. So those are liquidity. So let's just mark it out, even though uh, we are also using it as our area of feed. But it's also a liquidity. 
So even though you're going to put your stop, stop loss there, you need to be very careful. So that's the problem with this setup. But I believe that price will come into this area. Although there's not much of imbalance there, the kind of order block is in there. So that's the reason I'm looking forward to that trade. There is an order block here inside this box. So I'm expecting price to come there, which is roughly close, but it's struggling within 50%. So I believe there's still one more push up that, make, that will make price take out the liquidity that is in on the for the daily time frame as you can see look to the left look to the left of my chart you see this area here that's liquidity that price may come to to take out so i'm expecting price to come there to take out liquidity on the daily so for that reason i still anticipate that price will actually you know fill up that imbalance that is there and then drop even further as you can see, this level now will be the liquidity on the daily at which price will come to, which I'm anticipating. So on this pair, I'm going to be selling it. It's risky, yeah, but we're going to take it. We're going to take a short on this pair this week. So mark that on your chart. And we're going to take a trade. We'll just target that level. Put our stop loss here again. One to two, not too bad. That's what we're targeting. Put our stop loss there. We target one to two, and we are expecting price to get here on failingly. So this is the second trade that I'm looking to do take on this week 41. I mean 42. So let's look at the next one, which is um UAD, AUD and USD, uh, which is Australia dollar pair. Now on the Australia dollar pair, if you look to the left, which is also my daily time frame, which I'm using as a major momentum for my trade or directional bias, we see that the market is bullish. It's obviously bullish. We don't need to speak much language on that. The market is extremely bullish. So for that reason, we are anticipating a pullback, which already began. As you can see, the market has begun a pullback already with this pullback going on. It's just a simple fib you put on it because you want to know where the market is going to get to anyway. So this is a pullback going on right now. So remember, this is an impulsive move you're looking at. So a pullback is going on. So this one now, the trend has begun. The market is now bullish. The market has resumed its momentum. That means if I was to trade the, the, the daily time frame, I would be in this trade right now. If I was using trading the swing trade on a daily time frame, I'm in the trade already with that entry. Because why the retracement was going on, I'll put my fee here, wait for that retracement to happen, and then anticipate the order block and look for extensive order block and also find out that there are breakup structures. I mean, there are things I will look for for me to get into the trade, which is valid. So for now, I've already validated that. So the next thing we're going to do is to take this trade from here. So we're going to be buying on the one hour time frame. We're going to be looking for entry at this level. So wait for price to pull back into the pull back into the do, 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 my stuff. Let's think, keep moving uh, to pull back into this area, and then we'll take a drive up. Now watch this area first of all. You notice that there's a clear imbalance here. That's very important, and then we have another block. Very important to know that. And also we have that there's a liquidity at this level. Okay, liquidity, there's not that much, not that much of a problem. That will not be much of a problem at all because it's not that strong area of liquidity. So a long position will be taken on this pair. And we're buying all the way to that level. Again, want to, no big deal. We want to take that trade and we're out. So this is the third trade that we're taking for the week. Then the fourth trade is going to be Euro New Zealand. Now the Euro New Zealand is a bit tricky. That's why I wasn't. I'm not going to really. It's a bit tricky, but let's hope it gives us the opportunity. As you can see again, I haven't done the analysis before. I'm waiting for price to come over this place. So price coming over the place means that price is going to sell more. 
So on the lower time frame, like one hour, I'm going to be looking for more sales because we can see the structure is giving us break of structure, break of structure to the downside. Imbalance is already filled, is reacting to this other block, but that's where I said there is a trick right there. So it's reacting to the other block, but I can tell that the market is ready to pull back. So for that reason, I'm going to be looking for a sell on despair. Okay. We say price is very close to the other block. So I'm anticipating that it may touch the 50. I mean, the 61 and, and, and smash down quickly. But whatever the case is, is a separate, is a cell structure that we're looking for. So if you use this level, then use it well. I'm going to have again one to two, again one to two, every time targeting that one to two, because I don't want to over exaggerate the market. Once the market give me one to two, I'm done and I'm out. So this is the trade I'm looking forward to take. And that's the fourth one. Now, the fifth one is gold. Um, most of you requested that I should do analysis on gold this week. So here we are on gold. Now, first of all, we can see that the gold market is very bullish on the daily time frame. As you can see that the market has resumed the momentum. If I put my FIB here, you will notice that the market, uh, what's it? Let me put my feet there. You notice that the market has resumed that momentum to the upside. Yes, it did not come to 61. Rather, it rejected at 50. So when the market reacted at 50 and started rallying up, that's how gold is. Gold will normally not come to 61 or it will not come to 71. You will never, except there is there's extensive retracement. Normally, gold would do retracement within six months. So just in case you're trading gold, I think I should put up the feed for that now so you can you can see it. Just in case you're trading gold, let's give you the feed for that. Uh, where is it? 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 Um, I think what you do is... <clears throat> I'm using the swing pattern now. So what you do is just adjust your feed, adjust your feed. Okay, you can adjust your feed on this particular uh, settings and activate the 50, activate 20, uh, 38 and 50, because those are the two that you're gonna be using, 38 and 50. So yeah, as you can see, price reacted to it crazy. So let's turn off the 51 for a percent one. Let's turn off that one. As you can see, that's exactly the place. But you will need to use your stop loss at 88 or 87. Um, yeah, because you will need 87, 80, that's 85, that's 80. Good. Use, you want to use your stop loss close to that 88. I normally use 88. Where is it? There, there is. So use 88 as your stop loss. So, um, that's the only way you can do that. So now let's use that feed over here. Now with this, I'm going to be looking for price to come. Again, like I said, you don't know what to know when gold start drop, pushing up. So I'm going to wait for gold to come. Um, I'm buying gold. So that's gold is bullish. We'll buy. It. So I wait for pullback into 50. Okay, I wait for pull back into 50. 50%, 50 he normally does 50%. But this time, you're using your stop loss as the level of 88. But be careful, because we have a very, we have imbalance here, which is great, but we also have other block in this level. So that's why we're using 88 as our stop loss. We have another block there, which price may come to at will, if you want, with a week, and then rally up. So if it does that, then we know that system one is activated. But really, that uh, gold do system one. If you've done your back test, you know. So here's the point. You're going to target minus 21. Remember, we normally use minus 27, but this time we're using minus 21. So you use minus 21 in gold as your exit. So that would be another beautiful trade but it's not up to one to two so the best thing is if you want to 
with good moves is is pushing forward. So it's it's better you you target an area where it can give you one to two. So I would suggest you you activate minus twenty seven. So let's just put uh twenty seven there, and and then we'll be able to uh get that down. All right, so yeah, we target that level, and then at least you have one to two, uh, which is not actually accurate at the moment, but you can get one to two if you adjust. Hopefully, price get a little bit lower to tag you in. Uh, again, we we know that we're supposed to just get that, that done. I think that's it. Yeah, that's is is a is great. So that's two one to two risk to reward, which is absolutely what you want to look out for. So we're buying this week. You keep buying as long as price is trading above. So all I want you to notice that price is already rallying up. So you keep buying and buying until we have a break of structure. So first, when price take out this high, which is not there yet, it's still far away on the one hour time frame, as you can see. So you keep buying until price get to uh um, two thousand six hundred and eighty four dollars in gold so once you get to two thousand eighty four uh six hundred and eighty four dollars then wait for price action so that's the level here two thousand eighty six uh two thousand six hundred and eighty four around this level so you want to wait for price this is where you should look for taking tp overall anyways so if you can target that level keep buying to that level this week that's it for gold. So, guys, those are the trades we're taking this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the session. If you're watching this video for the first time, this is Trader Sibra. Again, I want you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and keep following us because there's so much information for you in trading industry. And also, also this week, hopefully, there are so many news coming in. There are so many fundamentals coming in. I want you to be careful. And hopefully, if we find opportunity, we're going to go live and we're going to be trading live. So um, if you if you want to know how we trade live, watch our previous live stream video where we trade live and how we do it. So you can join us this week, week 40, 42, as we find opportunities in the market and then we're trading. So this is how uh, the pairs we're looking at this week. These are the pairs I'm going to be watching. And guess what? I'm going to be taking those trades just the way I want to take them from the one hour time frame. I'm not going to move away from them. We're going to be watching the pair until they get there. So we take our entries and that's it. All right, guys, that's how we do it. And then um, I'll see you next week. Until then, gather the peeps as much as you can. Bye for now. Cheers.